Hey guys, so there's a bit of news that came through in the last couple of days. Uh, first thing is South Africa has made some plans to uh, have their Super Rugby competition continue or their own type of competition continue and all the other plans for the internationals. Then Francois Stein going to the Cheetahs. Uh, Damien Willem, so there was a, a few things said about him by Swayze de Bruyne. Uh, and then also Augustine Pichot uh, is a running for World Rugby Chairman. So if you're like me, you've probably been searching for rugby content all over. I've even been searching for Russian leagues, uh, trying to see if they're still playing because their football is still on. I wanted to see if I can maybe watch some rugby there. I couldn't find anything. Uh, so all of us are just scrolling through all the news at the moment. So all of this you've probably heard before but I do want to give my opinion on most of it. The biggest story is the South African rugby competition that has been given a date to start. It is 5 June. It's basically the competition that is going to replace the Super Rugby uh, with the Bulls, the Lions, the Stormers, the Cheetahs and the Kings competing in it. But it's just going to be after the lockdown if the fitness of the teams are going to be ready. Uh, that's a big question. And it's also going to be a big question to see if the South African authorities do give the green light for it. It is going to be a two month competition as well. So they're going to try and cramp everything in and get it over and done with. All this was presented to the My Players organization and it also included a proposed rugby championship uh, to be in August to September and then the July tests against Scotland to be moved to October with the Georgia test being cancelled uh, completely. The Rugby Challenge and the Curry Cup should also be played in August and September while the Rugby Championship is on. The November tests they will continue as planned against Italy and France and Wales. My players have predicted a 200 million rand loss if no rugby is played further this year. Other news that is big in the country at the moment, Francois Stein, he signed a two-year deal with the Cheetahs. It's a big one for the Cheetahs to sign. He's going to start on the 1st of July this year, midway through that Super Rugby alternative competition. So we might see him going head-to-head -head against big guys over here again. He was schooled over here in Bloemfontein at Grey College, so he's back home again. Straight after school, he went to the Sharks, so he never actually played over here. So it's going to be good to see the 32-year-old playing here with one of his big uh, former teammates, uh, Ruan Pinar, who is also at the Cheetahs. And the Cheetahs also announced that most of their players will be retained for next season. Another interesting read was on Network 24, where Swayze the Brain had an interview, the former Springbok assistant coach, he basically gave his opinion on Damien Willemse, whether he is a number 10 or not. He said he doesn't think Damien's uh, future lies at number 10, and he's not completely convinced that Damien is a fly half. He says he is a brilliant player, but he could see him moving to 12 or 15 further in his career. The big reason being Willemse firstly plays for himself, uh, so he firstly wants to get gaps for himself before finding guys next to him or getting the pass to support. Look, I do like Damien Willems. Uh, a lot of guys don't like him, but usually uh, it does tend to be people that uh, do support other teams and so on. So I do try and be unbiased in all situations. So I do like Willems, but I don't think he is at the best quality at the moment. I do agree he hasn't been the best team. Bosch is far superior at the moment. Uh, he does play for himself. I agree with that statement as well. So he does not play like a traditional number 10. On the other hand, just because he doesn't play like a traditional number 10, does that mean he should shift or should coaches start to incorporate that into their game plan and try and get the new guy on the park that can just play differently. I mean, Bowden Barrett also doesn't play like a traditional number 10 and he does the job completely right. But hey, to me, I do think at the moment South Africa won't go for a new type of number 10. Uh, I think Willemse might go to number 12 in the future. I do think he would make a very good 12 actually. Uh, maybe in the future we'll see Cohen Bosch at number 10 and then Willemse at number 12. That would be interesting, a very attacking partnership over there. The last bit of news, and I think it's probably one of the biggest pieces of news, the former 71 
cap Puma. Uh, Augustine Pichot has put his name in to go for the chairmanship uh, behind Bill Bimont, who is also running for it for World Rugby. Bimont was in, in charge in this previous t- tenureship and he didn't do much. Pichot, he says he wants to take charge and have some radical changes. That's what he's promising. He said the current crisis uh, is promising an opportunity for a gr- global realignment of uh, the game to align the game all around the world, the calendars of the international season and the domestic season. Pichot, he also said that he wants to shake up the old boys club that is running World Rugby at the moment. Uh, he would be the first chairman outside of the traditional six nations who actually always run uh, the World Rugby at the moment. And it would be quite appealing to the Southern Hemisphere nations to have him in the reckoning for the for the chairmanship because it will also bring the Southern Hemisphere back into contention for big prizes again or big competitions again, bring, bring the Southern Hemisphere back into talks for big uh, competitions, bring that Nations Championship in talks again because Pichot was the big guy talking about the nation Championship uh, before it was then cancelled by the Northern guys later on again. Pichot is also known to be against project players as he called it. Uh, it is basically where countries just get guys into their country and get them to have their residency to play for their country and not be able to play for their original country again. Uh, and he used football as an example where Lionel Messi, he is Argentinian so obviously he talks about Messi, uh, plays for Barcelona where he gets 20 times the salary where he would get in Argentina. But he still plays for Argentina because the calendar allows it uh, and he still does love his country. So a big reasoning behind Pichot's uh, method to realign the calendar all over the world would be for players like in the Pacific Islands and Argentina and all like South Africa and all those places to be able to play for their country even though they get a lot of money overseas. So yeah, that's a pretty good stance from the Argentinian. Guys, let me know about all the things I have said in this video. Let me know, do you think Willems should be a number 12 or 15? Who do you think? Uh, do you think Pichau should get the cha- chairmanship? Uh, and what do you think about the competition that is gonna run in South Africa? Cheers. Bye.